there is no doubt that the clock has been turned back. Uh, when we look at this from a historical perspective, uh, this is really the third uh, military coup against a civilian government. Uh, the first coup took place in 1962, after which the military ruled uh, in a brutal fashion for 50 years. Uh, and then elections in 1990 uh, were won overwhelmingly by Aung San Suu Kyi's National League for Democracy. And there was a military coup after that election to prevent the, uh, the emergence of a civilian government. And so this is the third, the actual third coup. The people of Burma saw Aung San Suu Kyi um, as, as their leader saw the National League for Democracy as their leader. And this was even true among those who saw this as a flawed transition. Let's not forget, given the 2008 transition, a uh, 2008 constitution, um, this was a transition toward democracy. It was not a transition to democracy. And so there were many in the country in light of the constitution, in light of some of the ways that the that the, uh, the government was behaving, that it was a flawed system. Um, and certainly when you look at the genocide that took place against the Rohingya people, um, there, there was real tragedy that took place in the country. And Aung San Suu Kyi did not stand up to the military and, matter of fact, went to The Hague to defend, to defend the military. And she lost... Uh, a, a good deal of international support that her standing was diminished um, because of that. Um, but nevertheless, the elections in November demonstrated that the people were behind her and the people were behind the National League for Democracy. And they saw over the last 10 years, despite, despite the flaws in the system, um, that, uh, that this was a different type of uh, environment than, than, uh, that existed in the previous 50 years. Um, and so, uh, so therefore it was a, it was a resounding victory for her and for her party.